Hi, in this video from Bailey Pottery, we're going to show you how to create a wheel thrown berry bowl. You can find all the clay, glazes, tools, and equipment found in this video at Bailey Pottery. We begin by centering standard number 240 white clay on the Speedball Artista pottery wheel. You can use whatever size of clay you wish depending on how large you'd like your finished berry bowl to be. We begin by throwing a simple bowl. So once we've centered our clay low and flat, we push the clay downward to create a very shallow dish. Then we gently squeeze the clay in the outer ring. And as we squeeze, we support the clay and pull it upward and thin out the walls. Wheels should be rotating slowly as we create the bowl. We draw the fingers upward and outwards in a number of sweeping movements, lifting the walls over several pulls. You can lubricate your hands and clay whenever necessary. And for a berry bowl, we suggest creating a thick rim for a place to hold onto while washing the berries. You could even add handles to the form. Use a throwing rib like this from Mud Tools to widen and define the finished shape. It's important to anchor the hand and hold it as steady as possible. And it is the inside profile that needs to be perfectly smooth as the exterior can be defined when turning the foot. When the bowl is finished, it can be removed from the wheel using a cutoff wire. This bowl was thrown on a square masonite bat, which can also be taken off the wheel and set aside to dry. We allow the bowl to dry under a loose sheet of plastic for about a day, and then we flip the bowl over and center it. We secure it to the wheel and use a ribbon tool to turn the base. The wheel can be rotating swiftly when turning. First we remove excess from the outer edges of the bowl. Then we narrow the base and give the foot ring a defined shape. Next step is to hollow out the inside of the foot ring. We start at the middle and work outwards to gently remove the clay. Once the bowl has been trimmed and it is at a leather hard state, it's time to punch the drainage holes that will turn this simple form into a distinctive berry bowl. The tool that we reach for is the Van Gilder Hole Cutter. Its tapered shape allows you to create holes of differing sizes. Stick the tip of the tool into the clay where you'd like the hole to be. And as you puncture the clay, slowly turn the tool for an even hole. The deeper you insert the tool, the larger your hole will be and where you choose to place the holes and the sizes of them can become a creative part of the overall design. When we're finished, we bisque fire our work to cone 04. Then we wipe the bowl clean with a damp sponge, wax the foot ring, and begin to apply glaze. We selected Amico's Sky Celadon. The Amico C Series Celadon glazes are transparent gloss glazes that are formulated to be 100% intermixable with each other. Upon unloading, our berry bowls are ready to be put to use in the kitchen. Are you feeling inspired? Share your next creation with us on social media and use the hashtag MadeWithABailey. Thanks for watching from your friends at Bailey Pottery Equipment and Ceramic Supplies.